Alright, welcome back to episode here on our W Smackdown Squad 2007 General Manager Mode. I am, of course, Dominic here on the Bad Wrestling Channel. Now, you might be wondering um, why it says in the thumbnail and in like the title of the video, uh, why does it say Armageddon? We're, we have one week off, right? This is the big go-home show. Do it. Here's the thing. The lack of money has made... I don't know why. I'm just not interested in doing this match in this card. Because to be honest, I kind of just didn't make a good card. Like, I I hate to say it. I made a pretty shit show. Like, if I lose this week, I 100% get it. And I'm not, I don't know, I don't even want to play the the game. I don't want to play this card. I can't do anything interesting and exciting with it. I just don't have the money to do it. I, I'm literally negative $15,000. I don't even know if it'll let me do this card. I might have to change the only exciting kind of matchup, which is Triple H and Edge versus Kurt Angle and Rey Mysterio. And we've seen those guys so many in just other matches over and over and over again. That there's no stakes to it, so I don't know. I kind of want to just jump straight into Armageddon, which is unprecedented here in our general manager mode thus far. Just to jump straight into the next pay per view and just simulate all the matches. But I just, I just don't care about this show. I'd much, I'm much more excited to do Armageddon because then we can have this for the, the U.S. title. That's going to be a lot of fun. The number one contender matchup. Uh, Triple H versus Rey Mysterio, that's gonna be some fun. Okay, just, you know, if we get a good match in there. Uh, this tag team matchup could be some fun. You know, there's just a lot of fun to go around. Also, apparently last week when we did the trades and stuff, I didn't realize this. I have one bad guy here. And that's Gregory Helms. And, you know, Gregory Helms just got a pretty good spot on SmackDown. Good 76 popularity. And, yeah. I don't think I did a really good smart call last time. I don't know. Anyways. I'm rambling at this point. I'm just going to simulate all these matches. And then we're going to go straight into the Armageddon pay-per-view and play those matches. So. Uh, what the show is supposed to be is Rob Van Dam with Bobby Lashley versus Johnny Nitro with Umaga. And the singles with Manager. Hopefully Rob Van Dam does some good there. Um, actually, I'm going to confirm this because I'm, I'm good. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Gregory Helms in a singles matchup because we need a matchup. Bobby Lashley versus Johnny Nitro because I need a matchup and there were the only two people not being really used. Uh, Kid Cash, Randy Orton versus The Boogeyman and Kane because they've been they were in there in a feud. Psychosis versus Chavo Guerrero because they're they are also not being used. And hard, this is the only exciting matchup and there's no stakes to it. So, I, I hope you guys understand. I'm probably going to get yelled at. But I don't care. I'm going to simulate all the matches. Okay. Rob Van Dam. First match back. Defeats Johnny Nitro. I love Nitro. But you know what? I'm good with that. Uh, Greg oh, holy shit. Gregory Helms defeats Shawn Michaels. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. Uh, Lashley defeats Nitro because Bobby Lashley is a monster. Uh, the champions. They've been losing to Boogeyman and Kane. I guess the game was like Kick Cash from Randy Orton because they've been losing... Um, Chop Guerrero defeats Psychosis in his return match. Oof. Psychosis, I didn't mean for that to happen. You're the jobber now. <laughs> and Triple H and Edge defeat uh, Kurt Angle and Mysterio. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. This might be a lo little bit of a longer episode. Um, Armageddon is this Sunday. We might have lost a lot of fans there. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping not that much. Oh, shit. 100,000 is not good. 100,000 is not good. Oh, well. Okay, well, now that we've gotten through all that, I didn't want to see the shows, by the way. Oof. Yeah, we didn't make a really good... We didn't make a really good card. We did not make a good card. But whatever. Anyways, we're going to make a better one, hopefully, on Armageddon. We got $309,000 to spare. Um, uh, Kurt Angle. He's this contract expiring. And then... Boogie... Wait. Vince. I decided that Armageddon in the main event will be a buried alive match. Holy crap! Did I? Wait, is this a cross brand pay per view? Armageddon is not a cross brand pay per view, right? No. Why would he just do that? <laughs> did did they have to do something with Taboo Tuesday? 
That's a little odd. Will they have to do something with New Year's? That's really odd. Okay. Whatever. Okay, I'll make the I'll make the match card now. So yeah. Uh uh transition. <laughs> Okay, this is a card I can get behind. This is a card I can be excited to play. So, Armageddon. First off, Velocity, just to get a little just to get some people to get paid. Okay, this is gonna be more of a payday match. Gregory Holmes, Rob Van Dam, Psychosis, Travel Girl, Fatal 4-Way Matchup, Shawn Michaels, surprisingly. I just realized it's not gonna be on the card. But you know, it's fine. Um, because he was the he was the odd man out. There was I have like an odd number of people, I guess, on the show. That I can think of. Well, there's Sean. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody else is booked. Yeah, okay. Anyways, so, we got that. Anyways, now to get into the main show. Okay, that's the pre-show. Okay, that's a little bit, that's a little bit of taste. We got some, that's some fast-paced action we got there. Now, next up, we got the WWE Tag Team Champions to kick us off in a hardcore Tornado tag match. And by hardcore, I mean that was... Meant to be a steel cage. Steel cage tornado tag team match. We got the Boogeyman and Kane versus Ray Orton and Kid Cash. Then we got first blood match Triple H versus Rey Mysterio. And then a Hell in a Cell. Because you know how much I love the Hell in a Cell matches. They're so fun in this game. Uh, for the United States Champion. Ship belt. Between Giant Nitro, Umaga, and Bobby Lashley. Now, here's something I didn't notice. Apparently, Randy Orton and Rey Mysterio's match specialty is a Hell in a Cell. I can't think of the last time Rey Mysterio's ever been in a Hell in a Cell. And, Rey was, and Randy Orton, he's only been in like a few of them. I want to say he's like his match specialty. Match specialty. Just, just, a, just a little odd little, little, little thing there. I don't know. We just noticed it. Anyways. Um, and then finally, World Heavyweight Championship. Buried alive. Edge versus Kurt Angle. They hate each other so much they want to tear each other's throats out. They want to slam their opponent into the ground. In this Buried Alive match, and I have never played a Buried Alive match. Uh, well, I have, but like a really long time ago. Like, I do not remember this. So this should be interesting. But yeah, so let's get into it. So, confirm the match card. We're going to be playing, of course, the four main... Ah. It, we, we are a little pressed on time here because of the beginning bit. So we're going to be playing... Um, we are not going to play this. Yeah, we'll simulate this. So, Nitro, Umaga, Bobby Lashley... I'm picking... I don't know, Umaga did really good last United States Championship uh, defense. I kind of want to pick him again. Umaga? And no, we got a new champion in Bobby Lashley. Okay, and then of course this pre-show, I'm picking... I don't want to pick Rob Van Dam, but Rob Van Dam? Oh, crap! Woohoo! I hit the bike. Woohoo! The champion, Chava Guerrero. Anyways, or defeating, you know, the other people okay so uh we're gonna be playing these three so steel case or tag tornado tag match and then first blood and then a world heavyweight title match so let's get into it and here we go everybody armageddon pay-per-view that is a set right there that is an armageddon set that's the boogeyman making his way to the ring he's gonna be teaming up with another i don't know creature of the night i guess you could say kane a little bit of creature of the fire i would say more so but yeah, Boogeyman going to be teaming up with Kane, who, if I can remember correctly, Boogeyman's last match was against Kane. Like, in real life. I'm pretty sure Boogeyman's last match was against Kane. Well, one-on-one -on -one match, because there was a little, a little thing in the Royal Rumble. Anyways, Boogeyman made his way to the ring. That's amazing. Freak of nature. I love the Boogeyman. I am, I am, a, I am a minority, I think. A minority that absolutely loves the Boogeyman. Just my opinion. As now, there you can see, we got more red-themed lights as Kane making his way to the ring. And what, what a fit pay-per-view name for this, as Kane might bring out some Armageddon on um, his opponents. Of course, himself and the Boogeyman. You know, they might be bringing out Armageddon on his opponents. This man first off, one half of the Tag Team Champions, WWE Tag Team Champions. He is... The Viper, the legend killer himself, the master of the RKO, Randall Keith Orton, or as WWE fans will know him as Randy Orton. And, mm, best, one of the best entrances. 
one of the best entrances in my lifetime. I don't know about in like of all time, but in my lifetime, just the Rand Yorton sparks behind them thing, and like the the uh, nothing you can say song. I don't know. It was just perfect. Anyways, that was Rand Yorton, and then this man, of course, is tag team partner. One of the most fun characters to play as in the game in the steel cage matchup. Here are ladies and gentlemen, the other, the other half of the tag team champions, the dog, the big dog, because he has a dog in his pants, and his and, and Roman Reigns jokes, the big dog, Kid Cash, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the big dog before the big dog was here, and there you can see Kane, will he be the one to help with Boogeyman in order to win this matchup, now remember, this is a steel cage tag team, tag team matchup, so of course, in this tag team steel cage matchup. If you leave your steel cage, the steel cage, your partner is going to be trapped in there with the other contenders. The other opponents. That was a weird flash, right? That wasn't just me? Okay. I hope so. Anyways, as now we got the boogeyman and Randy Orton fighting now. Now, oh my god, Kid Cash and Kane literally going through them. Okay, sure, why not? And now look at this. Slams him against the cage. And the boogeyman going after Randy Orton. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, slams him into the cage, and Kane, ladies and gentlemen, pounding away on Kid Cash. Okay, Randy Orton and Kane, ladies and gentlemen, or Randy Orton and Kid Cash, I should say, defeated the Boogeyman and Kane last time, last time these two fought, of course, earlier on this episode, in the simulation stuff. As you can see, Kane taking it to his opponents here tonight, and they can see, oh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, crap, he's literally stepping on his toes, I don't think Kane meant to do that. But okay, is now Boogeyman immediately might be leaving the cage here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, he wants to leave here tonight. You're one, one half of your tag team champions. It's Randy Orton drops Boogeyman down. And Kane, look at this, staring at him. And oh, right to the stomach there. The Boogeyman, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, might have picked a good partner here in Kane tonight. Because he has been on fire this entire matchup. And now there you can see the Boogeyman... Going after Kid Cash and Randy Orton. Going after Kane, or should I say Kane? Going after Orton this time now. As now Boogeyman, look at this stretching Kid Cash in the middle of the ring. Orton and Kane look at each other. Kane, look at this, just throws him as hard as he can into the steel cage there. And now Boogeyman doing the same to Kid Cash. Who is walking away here saying, Your tag team champion, just WWE SmackDown. Tag Team Champ is the superior brand. WWE Smackdown, of course. The superior brand here in our general manager. Most Kane, look at this, just choking out Randy Orton there. And now Boogeyman, oh, just lifts him up. Randy Orton and Kid Cash, they cannot get off the ground here tonight. Okay, every time they try to do anything, they just get stopped. As now Randy Orton, look at this. Going after Kane here, but Kane, of course, they can see reversing him. And now Boogeyman and Kid Cash still fighting here. Kid Cash, oh, punch right to the back of the head. It's now Boogeyman, look at this, oh! Now Boogeyman Kane, I was trying to say. Double choke slam on Randy Orton. And now Kane, look at this. He has a finishing maneuver stored, potentially. He wants to do that, that, that big choke slam potential. Oh, God, punch in the dick by, by the Boogeyman. Punch in the dick by the Boogeyman. As now Kane, ladies and gentlemen, going after Orton. Boogeyman going after Kid Cash. And Boogeyman, ladies and gentlemen, trying to tap out. Look at this. Just, oh my, did he just, did he just bite the hand, the head of, of uh, Kid Cash? I don't know. It's now, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was the power slam. The Boogeyman power slam, whatever you want to call it. As now Boogeyman, ladies and gentlemen, trying to leave the cage. He wants to leave here tonight. One half of the tag team champions in Kane. Now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Boogeyman. Just gets thrown down in Kane, ladies and gentlemen. Randy Orton catches him and throws him onto the Boogeyman, his tag team partner. Usually I'd be thinking Kid Cash and Randy Orton are the ones that are going to want to leave here tonight quickly. As now Orton, look at this. Elbow to the face of the Boogeyman. And now Kid Cash and Randy Orton here tonight on top once again, potentially. But the Boogeyman, ladies and gentlemen, taking down Orton. As Kane now, look at this. Going after Kid Cash. Kid Cash getting everybody's finishing maneuver here tonight. It's a choke slam. Connects it. Oh my god, Kane. What was that walk? What is that walk? I know you're demonic, but oh my god, you need to move your legs sometimes. Jesus. Now, oh, big power slam. 
by the big red machine. And Boogeyman trying to crawl once again. Ladies and gentlemen, we know he likes to crawl on the ground. Let's see if that will be good practice for him crawling up top. As Kane, ladies and gentlemen, about to escape the cage. Kid Cash, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, just kicks the cage. And Kane with a hard fall off the shockwaves of the... Oh, apparently, Kid Cash has a strong kick, maybe. Because now Boogeyman, look at... Okay, look at this. Choke slam once again to Kid Cash. A little bit more punishment to Kid Cash here, ladies and gentlemen. Randy Orton is down. Kid Cash is down. Boogeyman and Kane now trying to crawl the cage. They're both trying to leave here tonight. Your tag team champions. Will they be able to do so? And Kane, ladies and gentlemen, on top. Kane now, ladies and gentlemen, has left his partner, the Boogeyman, here tonight in the steel cage. All alone here, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, it might be a disadvantage. Boogeyman might get beaten up so badly here tonight, potentially, that he can't physically escape the cage. That is the terrify. Oh, right to the nuts. Right to the worm of the boogeyman, I guess you could say. As not look at this, Kid Cash and Randy Orton both hurt. They are both exhausted here tonight. Boogeyman, ladies and gentlemen. Randy Orton and Kid Cash, ladies and gentlemen. Might have just defeated the boogeyman and Kane here tonight. If, Kid if boogeyman can't get up. Okay, he just got clicked. He just got kicked in the plums. I don't know if he can get up here. And Kid Cash and Randy Orton. Kid Cash leaving Randy Orton, ladies and gentlemen. We still... Randy Orton and Kid Cash have su successfully, I will say, survive here tonight this tag team onslaught between by Kane and the Boogeyman. Okay, Kane and the Boogeyman, they tried their best. They beat the sh they beat the shit out of them. Okay, I'm not gonna excuse my French here tonight, but they beat the shit out of Mr. Uh, not Mr. Kennedy. That's Mr. Kennedy right there. That's not who I was gonna say. I was gonna say Kid Cash, and I was gonna say Randy Orton, the current and still retaining tag team champions here tonight. What a steel cage matchup! What a comeback for the villains! Okay, they 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 won in the most heelish way they could have imagined here tonight in this tag team matchup, and that was a kick to the old plums, ladies and gentlemen. As now the game is loading, taking a while. Still loading. It's one animation. I'm a little scared. If it would go faster, that'd be great. Uh. Do we get stuck? Do we get stuck again? And Kane, look at this. He is sad. He is distraught. He can't believe it. The boogeyman. There you can see he's still holding his groinal region here tonight. Randy Orton and Kid Cash. Still your tag team champions. And if I was that, I'd be running out of the building. Kane, ladies and gentlemen, does not look happy for his partner here tonight at Armageddon as we move on to the next matchup. Well, everybody, after that shocking win by Randy Orton and Kid Cash, we have a little bit of a matchup here. We got Triple H taking on Rey Mysterio. First blood here tonight in this one-on-one -on -one encounter. Who is going to be walking away, ladies and gentlemen, from this epic clash, this violent fight? This is not going to be for the fate of our here, ladies and gentlemen. Triple H, as we all know, he distinctly likes slowly picking out his opponent and pretty much just beating the shit out of them. Yes, I'm cursing in this video. D not, I don't care. As Rey Mysterio, ladies and gentlemen, Booyaka Booyaka himself popping out of the ground, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be going one on one with Triple H in this first blood matchup. But you can see Rob Van Dam is thinking, what the hell? Why didn't I win the pre-show? Well, why didn't you win the pre-show? That's my response to you, Mr. Van Damsel in distress. Anyway, <laughs> Van Damsel in distress. Hmm, that sounds like a good stable name. Anyways, I don't know, potentially for another series. Potentially for another series involving GM mode. Potentially. Anyways, Triple H, Rey Mysterio. Let's get into it. As Rey Mysterio. Oh, let's go kick him in the face and Triple H immediately. Drops him down face first, of course, distinctly face first, I would think. As now look at this. Crippler cross face here tonight by Triple H on Rey Mysterio. And Triple H already beating the crap out of Rey Mysterio here tonight. He does not look good. Rey Mysterio is not looking good here tonight. He needs to somehow get into this matchup. And Triple H, look at this, just stretching the leg of the master of the 619 himself. And now... Kicks him in the gut. 
Rey Mysterio, look at this. Oh, he gets ducked underneath. And Rey Mysterio, ladies and gentlemen, gets thrown to the corner. And Triple H here tonight still looking good here tonight. As now kicks him in the gut. And now Rey Mysterio trying to get into this matchup somehow, some way. As now look at that. Oh, brutal DDT landing on the top of his head. Ladies and gentlemen, landing on the top of his head does the does Mr. Triple H. Now look at this. Rey Mysterio lifting up the steel steps. Oh, my God. Misses the steel steps. And now hits wants to go hit him again, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we've ever seen the steel steps here in our general manager mode thus far. I don't think we've seen them used as a weapon, I should say. Okay, so this should be rather interesting. As Rey Mysterio now look at this. Oh, trips him up there here tonight. And now trying to pick him up. Look at this. Ah, uh, uses the muscles. And now, oh my god. That was crushed. By the way, those steel steps are like twice the size of Rey Mysterio. Oh my god, I don't know why it's so big, but it is. As I want to go hit him again. And now, oh, and again, he hits him this time, though. As now, ladies and gentlemen, Rey Mysterio, he is not backing down from any challenge here tonight. As, May as now, Mysterio, look at this. Going for some sort of maneuver, trying to pick up Triple H. Will he be able to do so, Triple H? Looks like he's trying to make him do something that Adam Cole would like to say to, likes to say to his opponents. Oh, at least on the indies, he's not allowed to say it in WWE. If you if you catch my drift, it was a it was a it was a it was a sexual joke between two men. Okay, even DX like to say it sometimes. Okay, that's their like catchphrase. Whatever. Anyways, I don't need, I don't. You knew what I meant. You knew what I meant. Who cares? Now, oh, ladies and gentlemen, the the abs of steel of of the um of Mr. Triple H. Just stops him from kicking him there. Now Kane, not Kane, Rey Mysterio, look at this. Dropping the referee who we do not need in this matchup. I don't know why he's in the match, but he's in the match. As now, oh, look at this. Bulldog connects face first goes Triple H. And now Mysterio, look at this, just pounding away on the face of the, the one and only Triple H. Just now look at this, stretching the back of... Triple H of the game here tonight. And now look at this. DDT, ladies and gentlemen, about to connect. And it does. Brutal looking DDT. And that's mainly because we can't use a, a um, 619. Because it's a pinning combination. Anyways, Rey Mysterio, now look at this. Drops him down there here tonight. Mysterio looking good here up top. Once again, going for another elbow drop. This time he misses, though. And now back into the matchup, though. He's now trying to pick up those steel steps once again, and he does. Mysterio using the strength that apparently he has to carry literally things the size of him. Twice the size of him. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, hits him again. That time face first. Okay, there's no two ways about it that time. As now, oh, kicks him in the gut. Triple H, ladies and gentlemen, again, the abs of steel. Stopping his opponent from... Even doing too much damage to him is now Triple H. Going up top, going for those 10 punches. And now, oh, wait, just, look at this. Oh, throws Triple H off before he can even make the punches. As now Mysterio, once again, DDT, about to land on those steel steps. And oh my god, lands on the corner of the steel steps. Does Triple H. Is now a big moonsault connects. And now Mysterio, he is not giving up. He is doing his best here tonight. He wants to survive Triple H. Okay. Okay. He did really good in the beginnings, and Triple H doesn't jump. He just needs to get back into this somehow. Now look at this. He wants Triple H up, it looks like. Mysterio, look at this. Taunting Triple H. Trying to bury him, I guess you could say. It's now, oh, hits him as hard as he can in the face with that steel chair. And now Mysterio once again over that DDT, ladies and gentlemen. Third one connects there. And Mysterio, ladies and gentlemen, what is he going to do? To oh, oh my god, just sna snacks. Snacks snaps the neck of Mr. Triple H here tonight. Now look at this going for neck breaker connects. Beautiful looking neck breaker by the game. And Triple H took this. He has a little bit of a headache. I would I would assume. Get our Armageddon pay per view. A lot of head based maneuvers as you saw here tonight thus far by Rey Mysterio. Kicks him in the gut though, or in his entire body it looks like it's sort of. There's now Triple H. Look at this. Oh look at this. Rey Mysterio punching him away, and Triple H is still not busted open. And Mysterio must be thinking, what does he have to do in order to take out the game? I'm, I'm not even too sure at this point. 
The ship boy slowly walking. Goes to the outside. Mysterio, ladies and gentlemen, jumps for no reason. And, oh, Triple H right to the back with the elbow. Now, oh, God, punches him in the face. Oh, come on. Come on. I know that's what won the match last, or the previous match, but come on. What are you going to do? Bust his nuts open? Okay, is that going to be busted open? Is that going to, is that going to, going to make him bleed in his pelvis area? I guess that was, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Is that, oh, big moonsault there. And I don't think Graham Steele, I don't think... He's not going to have any more Dominics, I could say that afterwards. And hey, it's not, and I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about his actual, his actual children. His actual child, Dominics. Oh! Hits him there again with the steel chair. And, oh, ladies and gentlemen, hits him so hard, I do believe that is a busted open Triple H. And there you can see JBL, he's, he's, he's okay. He, he's not on our, right, our roster anymore. But whatever. Rey Mysterio. Defeating Triple H, surviving Triple H, even after a low blow, after everything. Triple H is down the outside, busted open. Rey Mysterio, he is tired. I, I don't even know if he can be able to stand, but he looks like he's trying to. As Mysterio defeats Triple H in his first blood matchup, let's move on to the main event. And here we go, everybody. No entrances needed here tonight. This is a buried alive matchup. Now, the only way to win is to throw your opponent into the casket so they can be buried alive underneath it at the top of the ramp. World Heavyweight title is on the line, but I think it's about more than that for these two. Kurt Angle, ladies and gentlemen, the first man he defeated was Edge on the SmackDown roster. Edge, he has been embarrassed about that ever since. It's a blood feud for the title here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who's going to win here tonight, but this is going to be a very interesting matchup. It's now Triple, not Triple H, Edge, ladies and gentlemen, getting thrown into the barricade. And now Kurt Angle, oh, on the top of the barricade there. As Edge, oh, come on, really? Already into this matchup? A low blow, then a punch in the face there by by Edge. We're already into the low blows here tonight, which is quite strong, quite, quite frankly despicable. Not, oh, God, he has, a, he has a sledgehammer, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, went to go hit him for it, or went to go hit him with it. As now Edge, ladies and gentlemen, gets thrown all the way into the other, uh, the other, what's it called, barricade. As now Kurt Angle throws him back into the ring. Maybe not the best strategy to be inside the ring, I would think. Because the only way to win is by pulling your opponent to the top of the stage. To the top of the ramp. Onto that big mound of dirt. Which for some reason is here now. Wasn't here in the previous matchup. But you know what? It's fine. As now look at this. Kurt Angle just keeps wrenching his, his arm over and over and over again into the mouth of Edge. Kurt Angle, look at this, just not showing respect at all. He look at him, he's even smiling. Actually, come to think of it, if you ever played Bully, <laughs> doesn't he look like the main character from Bully? <laughs> Is that just me? Is that just me? He looks like exactly like the main character of Bully. If if you have played that game, I don't know. I know this is supposed to be a wrestling channel, it's a like gaming channel, but you know, it's a wrestling gaming channel. Same diff. You, you get what I mean. Anyways, there's no edge. Look at this, just wrenching on the back there and now look at this it looks like he did not like that disrespect I guess you would call it by Kurt Angles now Kurt Angle immediately throws him as hard as he can to the outside of the ring here tonight main event world heavyweight championship and again come on come on edge this is getting ridiculous now a second low blow and again he has a sledgehammer here tonight oh and he hits him as hard as he can with the sledgehammer good lord is now ladies and gentlemen they're trying to go up, well, they're about to go up the ramp here tonight, Kurt Angle is. And Edge now has control. He's got the sledgehammer, ladies and gentlemen, not necessarily his weapon of choice, usually. However, he's got it here tonight as I look at this. Back suplex, landing on the neck area. Of course, we all know about the neck injuries, the neck history of Kurt Angle. Oh my god, just breaking. Hitting him so hard with the sledgehammer, he breaks it here tonight. And Edge, ladies and gentlemen, he has control again. Kurt Angle kicks him off. This is the World Heavyweight Championship. This is about, and these two just brawling up to the mound of dirt. And now, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Oh, look at this. What even is this? Just a submission hole trying to wear down Kurt Angle here tonight. Trying to slow the man down. Trying to make sure he can't do anything to Edge here tonight. Throws him to the top of the ramp. Now, oh, misses the kick there. Misses it again. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle catches him and throws him onto the mound of dirt there. That big mound of dirt. And now, here we go, everybody. We are now at the casket area in this matchup. And Kurt Angle, ladies and gentlemen, not looking too good. Edge, oh, gets kicked in the stomach there. And now, look at this angle. World Heavyweight title is on the line here. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Brutal looking sleeper hold by Kurt Angle. Kicks him in the face there. And now, look at this. Kicks him in the gut. Kicks him again. Execution by the rated R superstar. And now, oh, God, look at this. He has a, oh, he has the shovel here. He's trying to bury his opponents. The more I realize, the more I think about it, the more I realize this would have been perfect for the Triple H matchup. But whatever. Okay, this is a blood feud. This is a terrifying feud. I'm scared to see what happens here in this matchup. As Edge, ladies and gentlemen, he's looking tired. He's looking exhausted, as I would assume. As now Kurt Angle, look at this, getting thrown into right by the, um, the, I guess, I guess the tombstone? That tombstone? It looks like a tombstone here at Armageddon. In this buried alive matchup. As Edge has control here tonight. He wants Kurt Angle. He's staring at him. He wants him up. What does he have in mind? I'm not too sure, but Kurt Angle catches him before he can do something. And now, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, slams him. I thought he was going to go for a German suplex. Of course, the Kurt Angle staple. And I'll punch in the stomach. Hopefully, that was the stomach. As now throws him, ladies and gentlemen, trying to throw him into the casket area, it looks like. And now, Kurt Angle, ladies and gentlemen, oh, kicks him in the stomach before he can do such a thing. And now Edge, ladies and gentlemen, once again getting kicked in the stomach. And Edge, ladies and gentlemen, about to get... F about to... F well, trying to fight back here tonight, I guess. Because that kicks him in the stomach. Edge, ladies and gentlemen, not looking too hot anymore as Kurt Angle has just regained control of this matchup. Back and forth fight we are seeing here. Now, once again, wearing down the Rated R Superstar. Trying to make him pass out almost so that he can easily bury him potentially into that casket. As now Kurt Angle, oh, throws him onto the casket. And now look at this. What does he have in mind? I'm not too sure. And oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle. Oh, look at this. Trying to eliminate. Oh god, what is this? What is this? Oh! Kurt Angle. Burying, burying, sorry. The rated R superstar. I. Uh, oh, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new world champion. We have a new world champion, courtesy of that man. Mr. Kurt Angle defeating Edge. Here at Sign of Spirit, a live match. Okay then. That was a little, that was a little fast. A little bit of a fast main event, but whatever. As you can see, burying. Burying. Probably literally and figuratively. And oh my god. Lightning Bolt. Undertaker, apparently, from Monday Night Raw is showing up. Okay. As Kurt Angle there, you can see spitting on the grave. I think that just was. Angle not showing any respect. But you know what? He's earned this victory here tonight in this brutal fight. Uh, Armageddon in the main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that was a good pay-per-view. Hopefully, we did good here tonight. Hopefully, we did we did such a good job that the, the WWE Universe, or the fans and GM mode, whatever they're called, I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully... They, they they agree, and hopefully we get like seven hundred thousand people to go to to go to SmackDown. Hopefully, I'm hoping. This is fingers crossed. Uh, I just want just want fans results. Come on, injury. Bobby Lashley's injured. Oh my god, he's our new champion. SmackDown five. Yes. Oh my god, five hundred and twenty-five th 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 thousand thousand. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Oh! Boy. We got that. Okay, who's who's injured? Okay. Bobby Lashley. Okay, it's a minor injury. Edge suffered a minor injury. Triple H. Shawn Michaels, you want a title shot? I've already got you in the plans. We got 700,000 freaking dollops. I'm happy. I'm happy about this. Shawn Michaels, he is very upset. However, I'm not... Because we are going to be paying off freaking Kurt Angle over here. Our new World Heavyweight Champion here tonight. We've got, he's got popularity 94. Look at all the 90s now. Look at all the 90 people now. Oh my god. That's awesome. Okay, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen. 
that might just have to be the end of the episode here on our Spectre of a of General Manager mode. If you guys liked it, let me know by hitting the like button down below. I am so happy with that. But you know, we, we, you know what? You know, I know, I know, I know. He just wasn't. Well, hold on. What's what's the, what's the oh fin Finley Finley? You, you want to come to SmackDown? You got that nice four hundred ninety-nine thousand. You could be a good heel. You could be a good heel. Hmm. Do we want Finley? And do we want to turn him heel? Screw it. We got fi we got the we got the Irish fighter here tonight. Finley coming to Friday Night SmackDown because quite frankly we need more people on the roster anyways. Um Also I didn't really really talk about it. Bobby Lashley, he's injured. But he's at 84 popularity now. That's really good. That's a really good popularity rating. I'm okay with that. Okay. Any anybody else that needs to be paid off? Gregory Helms, you can be paid off right now. Poop. See, not that not that difficult. Okay, we got one hundred thousand dollars. We're still we're looking good again. We're looking we're looking up again. Okay, we don't have to pay off anybody for a little bit. Ooh, there's a lot of three weeks there. We we'll have to pay off a little bit of people. Well, just a tiny bit. Just maybe some edge. Maybe not some edge. Maybe some Randy. Maybe not some Randy. Who can? I don't think we can pay off anybody yet. Oh well, we still got three weeks. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna have to now. Oh my God! Look at the fatigue. Oof! I had I was gonna put Sean versus. Oof. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let me, let, let's look back at the Armageddon pay-per-view. We got four and a half star match out of that? Okay. By the way, this cost me nothing. This Buried Alive match. This cost me nothing. So, I'm happy with that. <laughs> um, okay, four stars. And then three and a half. Okay. And then a little three star match in the Velocity. Okay. Now, as I was saying, that's going to be the end of this here. This very long episode, probably. Of our W Smackdown for Raw 2007 General Manager Mode. If you guys like that, please let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything you want to. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on the Bad Wrestling channel? I am, of course, Dominic. And have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Bye bye. Yo.